Welcome to another edition of Dan Frequently Asked Questions, where we address issues of common concern to divers. One of the most common issues with diving is ear equalizing problems, and divers are frequently tempted to take anti or decongestant medication in order to allow them to dive, the most popular being pseudoephedrine. Now, in the past, pseudoephedrine, false epinephrine, is a decongestant, but it is related to the family of adrenaline or adrenergic agents. Why is that important? Because just like adrenaline and adrenergic agents, they may cause heart arrhythmias or they can cause problems with emptying the bladder in males because it influences the prostate. Now, that is the medication issue. The real concern is that if a person can't equalize and they take pseudoephedrine, they may open the eustachian tubes, but they haven't addressed the concurrent problem of phlegm in the lungs. Because usually if you are engorged in the upper respiratory tract, there's also some engorgement or mucus formation in the lungs or lower respiratory tract. And we've had several cases of people with ear problems developing lung barotrauma. So in general, one, pseudoephedrine as a pure agent is no longer available generally without a prescription because it's potential of abuse. It can give you a bit of a high. But what you can get is you can get pseudoephedrine in combination with an analgesic, be it paracetamol or acetaminophen, which is what it's called in America, ibuprofen or something like codeine. If you are to take pseudoephedrine to treat middle ear barotrauma, which by the way is appropriate, those medications are appropriate. And in that case, my preference would be the pseudoephedrine and ibuprofen combination. If you need to take it to assist in equalizing, now remember, I would never recommend pseudoephedrine if you can't equalize. But some people have one eustachian tube that doesn't equalize as easy as the other, or they get all tenebaric vertigo when they come back to the surface and the one ear doesn't release gas as quickly as the other. In those cases, it may be acceptable to take two of the 30 milligram pseudoephedrine paracetamol tablets when going diving. Just remember, it only works for about four hours. So you want to have your dive well within that period, but not beyond. Otherwise, you might have a reverse block. Now, I also don't recommend the use of pseudoephedrine in dives deeper than 24 meters because of the oxygen content. It may potentiate or cause a more likely chance for oxygen convulsions and certainly not if you're doing oxygen uh, decompression or breathing oxygen in a higher quantity such as you might with enriched air nitrox. Never try it for the first time when you go diving. And the one other place where I found it useful is if a novice diver has had problems with their ears and we want to give them confidence about equalizing and then pseudoephedrine may be appropriate in the pool. So they take the pseudoephedrine and then they go play around in the pool, let's say a five meter pool, and just make sure that they're able to master the ear equalizing techniques. I hope that's answered the underlying question and until next time, safe diving.